Quetzalcoatl Entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 164, The Ultimate Powerpuff Prophecy. Animation Land. As you can see, Shotaro has just sent my script for Chapter 58 of Himutsu Sentai Go Ranger back to me, along with his illustrations. Well, now that the main six is backing up my fellow Powerpuffs and me in our mission to help the Jackers annihilate crime, I feel that we'll have an easier time taking them down. Come in! Protection! Oh, hi, Miyako, Momoko, Kaoru. What brings you girls here? Okay, you'll never believe this. We actually found out the origins of the prophecy of the Ultimate Powerpuff! Wow, I already know that my Powerpuff traits originated from my dad, but I've never even heard of the origins of the prophecy itself! Well, now you'll know the whole thing! Okay, go ahead! Okay, in the early 17th century in Japan, the Powerpuff came to be as we know them and were officially recognized by Tokugawa as a warrior clan. The Powerpuffs weren't ordinary warriors, they possessed magical fighting abilities which they could use to defend themselves against any enemy! Wow, surprised how Tokugawa would just accept them! I know, right? Anyway, the Powerpuffs caught attention to the creator of the entire universe and its three prophets. This trio of prophets recognized 165 techniques the Powerpuffs could use, which is similar to the fighting style of the magical creatures here in Animation Land. However, no Powerpuff knew all 165, so the trio created a prophecy that one Powerpuff would be able to learn all 165 techniques and become far stronger than any other. Hmm, interesting. For a few centuries, they tried to find a candidate for this Powerpuff, but they never found one until the 1980s. They found your dad, who knew all the tactical and hidden techniques. He wasn't quite what the trio expected, but he was the key to the ultimate Powerpuff. So they chose his future child as their candidate. However, in 1999, they found out that your dad was going to have twins, so they changed the candidate to the younger twin. I see. And that was me. Come to think of it, I didn't even know about my Powerpuff abilities until I first came to Animation Land. You've gotten much stronger since August of 2018. I joined forces with the famous Himitsu Sentai Goringer to take down every last member of the Black Ross Army after killing Goldmask. Not to mention, you gained more allies along the way, including the three of us. You met Twilight Sparkle and the other members of the Main Six, you met Usagi and the Sailor Senshi, and you've even made other friends during your intended six-month stay here in Animation Land. I'm glad, I I'm glad I chose to stay here for good. Of course, my family comes over to visit from time to time. During the battle against the Black Cross Army, you've earned the eight transformation badges of the end of the League of Powerpuffs. Oh yeah, that's how I unlocked my monster form, which really put the Black Cross Army on the run. Eventually, you were able to learn all 165 techniques and become the ultimate Powerpuff. <laughs> I used my ultimate form against the Black Cross Fuhrer himself. That was a perfect decision of mine for the final battle. And now we're on a new mission to help the Jackal Gang and Natalia defeat crime. Exactly. I've even got new allies. Your cousins, Dexter, and even Usagi became a Powerpuff. It's nice to know that you and she are brother and sister. Yeah, my parents didn't even tell me that. Well, I'm glad to know that I fulfilled the prophecy that the trio of prophets created so long ago. I shall use these 165 techniques to protect all of Animation Land from the forces of evil, especially those who support censoring animation. Oh, tell us about it! The Black Cross Fuhrer hated all animated characters and wanted to completely wipe them out. He also wanted to kill everyone who challenged the practice of censoring animation. Well, thank God the Black Cross Army is extinct. I know, right? Well, we need to get back home. See you later. Bye-bye! Well, it's amazing how the ultimate power of a prophecy was originally created. Anyway, thanks for coming down. Stop by whenever crime attacks again, okay? Alright, see you later.
This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.